everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, now you know. And you guys, today I have a very exciting MS unboxing. So until then, just wait. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kenzie. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I love those a lot. So if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask that you consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding the little bell down there so that you're notified every time I upload. Without any further ado, guys, let's get on into the video. Just a little disclaimer before actually getting into this, I got a new camera. I'm filming on it right now. I got a Sony ZV-1. So far, I really like it. I'm hoping that it stays focused. Let me know how you think of the quality and the audio and everything. Just kind of give me a review on that because I really hope the camera is better than my last one. <laughs> okay, here is the unboxing. It just came in this white box. And now I have already unboxed this and shown it on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should totally do that because I do things over there first, usually. A beautiful orange box. And then this is actually one of my first items actually ordering directly from the Hermes store. Um, I have ordered other things from there like nail polish and the lip balm, but I haven't ordered any of like my big ticket items from the Hermes store. I'm just thinking I should start buying more from the Hermes store when I'm going to buy Hermes because you know, those go towards like a Birkin offer or something. Like, I know there's so many other ways to get a Birkin, but I'm just like, hey, if I can buy it from the store, why not? This is what the little box looks like. It's so cute. It says, Benvenu, and I do believe that's how you say it. I really hope so. <laughs> but here's that, and then I got my little care card and receipt in here. And here is the beautiful packaging. Again, I did already unbox this, so I did try uh, to retie this ribbon, but I do believe that I failed. <laughs> but I think I got pretty close to how they did it at the store. But actually, I am going to go ahead and insert a clip right now of when I first unboxed it. I really wanted to do this because, I don't know, I, I feel bad when I get something and I get so excited and I, I unbox it immediately and then people don't get to see like my first first impressions um, of the item. So I did film uh, when I first got this item and I unboxed it and I showed you like my very first impressions. I don't have any makeup on. I have on like my sweater and everything so please do not mind the way that I look there but I really just wanted to show you guys my very first impressions of the item and I'll go into a little bit more detail now because I have been wearing it for about three days so yeah roll that footage okay I wanted to film my like immediate reaction to this because I got my Hermes bracelet I'm so excited and I'm not filming like a full on video for it today. I just wanted to get my reaction. Ah! She's beautiful. I will do a full on unboxing video for this item here, but I really just wanted to get my first reaction. This is my first thing that I'm actually ordering. Well, I've ordered other like small things from the Hermes website, but this is like my first big item ordering directly from Hermes. So it comes in this beautiful, it's like a velvet kind of suede material. <laughs> Look! Oh my goodness! So this is the H Chic bracelet. I got it in the cream. I just wanted to show you my very first like little impressions. Oh my god. I'm gonna be trying it on and everything in my actual video, but I just wanted to show you the first impressions. But wow, very nice footage, we love that, yes. So as you can tell, it was very all over the place. I had no idea what I was doing in that time because I was very excited <laughs> and I really just wanted to unbox it and get it on and everything. Um, so I hope you liked that. But now let's go into like a bit more detail when it comes to the unboxing. And as you can tell, I did get the H like click bracelet, but I got the smaller one. I didn't get the click clack because the click clack is very big. Here's what the box looks like. Beautiful orange box. And then when you open it up, it comes in this kind of velvet suede little pouch. And then it has like the care booklet right here. And it tells me what item that I got. And here is the little pouch. And then let's open her up. 
just like this. Ah, oh my god. And here is what she looks like. She is absolutely stunning and I love her so freaking much. Okay, so let's go into the details. So this is in gold hardware. It's gold plated because this is not like Hermes fine jewelry. This is considered costume jewelry. So it is gold plated and I got it in the gold. I debated so much between the gold and rose gold, but then I remembered that I have my watch on this wrist and it's gold as well and most of my jewelry is gold so i was like well let me just get the gold one and then if i do a rose gold thing later i can make that my just and clue bracelet because i'm saving up for that i'm, I'm so excited for that so maybe i'll do that in rose gold and i got this in gold and i got the part right here in the color cream this is not plastic this is resin and i was again going between the cream and the white and i ultimately decided on the cream color because I thought that it looked just a tiny tiny bit more like elegant if you will the white is very pretty but the white is very like stark white it's like this it looks like this color white and as you can tell right here this is definitely a more off-white kind of like a cream color so that is why I went with the cream and I think it would just match everything a little bit better and it wouldn't look so like harshly white but it still almost looks white and to open the bracelet all you have to do is squeeze the sides and then just push down on a corner and it does this and it opens right on up and i have been wearing this on my left hand and i've been wearing it either above or below my watch i know a lot of people say that you're supposed to wear like stacking pieces below your watch because your watch is supposed to be up here like the first thing that people see but i don't know i like it i like the bracelet being up here and i think it just looks really really nice i just like the way that they look stacked like this i just think it's very pretty if you want it on the bottom i may have to go back and have them take out an extra link in here just so i could get my uh, watch to stay put but here's what it looks like below my watch it looks nice either way, but I could just wear my watch on my left wrist like normal and then just wear this one on my right wrist just to make sure that they don't keep like smacking against each other because I want to keep this intact as much as possible. <laughs> so yeah, it could just be like this, but very, very pretty bracelet. I love the design of this. It's so pretty and just elegant and beautiful. And I think that no matter what color you get, it's just going to be immaculate. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about like pricing and stuff when it comes to this bracelet. I'm gonna put it on my right hand just right now. So when it comes to pricing, this bracelet I saved up for for about four months or so, four or five months. I could have put like my entire paycheck towards it and got it in one month uh, or like two weeks or something like that, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to put my entire paycheck towards it. So I put like $150 towards it or 200 bucks towards it every two weeks or so whenever I would get paid and I did uh, say for it for around four or five months and it does come out to its 660 when you order it on the website or in store but with taxes and everything I believe it was like 724 or something like that um, I know some people say like why do you share prices and everything I don't know it's just I feel like it's important I feel like the pricing of things are important and if you're watching this video you're probably interested in this bracelet so you might want to know pricing if you don't want to know pricing then maybe these luxury videos aren't for you <laughs> but for those of you that are already watching you get it so this is the most expensive bracelet that I have <laughs> and it will continue to be the most expensive bracelet that I have until I get my Justin Clue bracelet. I don't know when I'm going to get that, but just whenever I do get that, that one's going to be like my number one. But this one I am obsessed with at the moment. I love this bracelet. I will do a full on review video and like uh, wear and tear guide on the bracelet, but I will say I've had it for like three days and it's, um, it gets scratched or like, you know, like little hairline scratches pretty easily. So I'll just say that as of right now, but I still love it. You can barely even see the scratches. You can only see the scratches if you put the bracelet under like direct light or something, but I really like it. I think it's so pretty and I think it just makes any outfit so much more classy and elegant. Um, I wish that I could stack it with my watch. It would just be a lot easier, but I'm afraid that it's gonna... 
don't know, I'm afraid it's just gonna get ruined so much faster because my watch is smaller than the bracelet, like tighter. So my, my bracelet here just goes like over top. It'll go like over top of the watch like this, if you can see that. And I'm afraid that's just gonna ruin it. So I wanted to have it as a stack, but I think what I'm gonna do is just compromise and have it symmetrical and have one bracelet on each arm for right now. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, that's basically my unboxing of this bracelet. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now because uh, some movers just got here and people are doing everything so early today. It is just insane. I went to do, um, I went to sell my camera because I got this new camera. So I put my old camera on eBay and it sold very quickly, thank the Lord. But um, I went to go ship it out today and at 8.30 in the morning and the UPS near me was packed. I don't know why, it's never packed at 8.30 in the morning, but there was like something going on. I don't know, there was like 15 people in the UPS store today at 8.30 in the morning. And then these movers get here and it's 9.30 now and they're getting here so early. I don't know, Mercury Retrograde is in Gemini right now and I think that's why. <laughs> I don't really know what that means. I just know that Mercury Retrograde is in Gemini so maybe that's why things are acting so weird but who knows. Um, anyways, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know in the comments if you like this bracelet. Let me know if you have this bracelet or have had this bracelet. And let me know what color you got as well, like um, hardware color and the little doodad right here. Just let me know anything. Let me know if you have a piece of jewelry that you're obsessed with. Just leave me a comment down below telling me whatever you want. <laughs> but again, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then go ahead and click the subscribe button and give this video a like. And be sure to ding the little bell down there so that you know notified whenever I upload and you guys I'll see you in the next video bye